The Laha may have come and gone at Mount Ruapehu, but another has taken its place. Sunday's spectacle in which 1.3 million cubic metres of water, mud and rocks rushed down the mountain caused only minor damage as it followed the path of the Whangaehu River and out to sea. Scientists say there's been an increase in volcanic earthquakes in the past two days at Mount Ruapehu, which they say increases the risk of steam-driven eruptions. Well, joining us now, GNS Volcano Surveillance Coordinator, Brad Scott. Brad, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. So an increased number of, of tremors up the mountain since that laha? Oh, that's right. There's just been a, a subtle but significant change in the style of earthquakes up there you know, since laha came down on Sunday. So, so what are they driven by? Uh, these are driven by or within the geothermal system that exists in Ruapehu Volcano. It's just, there's a great big geothermal hydrothermal system that drives the Crater Lake and the pressures and things in there have changed you know, with the water coming off. So, so what, we see great bubblings up of water in, in the smaller Crater Lake? Um, that's the most likely scenario um, if the system becomes perturbed or disturbed enough um, you'll get steam coming to the surface and you'll get geysers type activity. Um, it's, a, it's quite a low probability. It's maybe 5 10% chance of this happening. But we've certainly seen a few changes and we're just sort of putting a hand up and saying, hey, you know, remember this is an active volcano and um, keep an eye on it. So is, is it more like, shall we say, White Island now? Uh, very, very similar to White. Um, the Crater Lake at White Island is behaving in a similar manner there, the water levels dropped about eight and a half metres. Um, the lake is heated up to 74 degrees, you know, under quite similar parameters, actually. So as the steam comes up through the lake, what, it, what causes a small sort of explosion? Uh, not really an explosion as such. It's more just the centre of the lake tends to dome up a bit and you get a, a geyser-like jetting to the surface. And presumably that then could push over the, the new rim of the crater lake. Uh, oh, they will certainly generate us some small waves, but we're, we're talking about a, you know, a few bucketfuls of water rather than things like we saw on the weekend. That's a comfort. <laughs> How long is this sort of activity likely to go on for? Um, it's, <clears throat> we, we don't really have much experience. This is only the second time in our history that we've seen Rupehu behave like this. Um, we would expect that the system will probably settle down within just a few days. It should be able to cope with it, but uh, just in case it doesn't, you know, just, let's just be aware of it. And, and keep the warnings in place, basically. It's still a dangerous spot. Yeah, well, all active volcanoes have their moments. Oh. So, yeah, we can't forget about that. Point taken. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Brad Scott, who's GNS Volcano Surveillance Coordinator.